Uh, the centrifugal force is just pulling on your arm so much that I have to just like tuck everything in there to make sure nothing comes out. Hardest type of whip to crack? Stock whips. Um, so there are essentially three kinds of whips. You have a leather bull whip, which is like an Indiana Jones whip. Um, you have performance hybrid whips, which are a combination of a bull whip and a stock whip. And those are what you see me cracking in most of my videos. I use, I call them my musical whips. And then stock whips, they come from Australia, uh, used for driving stock, driving cattle. Um, and they had this weird hinge on them where you go from the stiff handle into the braid of the whip. It's got this hinge on it and I cannot figure out how to work those. And it's probably just because I didn't grow up cracking those. I grew up cracking my dad's bull whips. Okay, so we're looking at a video most bull whip let me make sure the audio is off yeah this is when i think i did 287 cracks so this is actually not the current record because i broke this record in 2020 um but this is me swinging a whip back and forth 287 times well 290 times but i missed a few cracks in it um and this was this was a record that i spent most recently i spent about two years training uh six hours a day working or six days a week working out three days on one day off three days on one day off uh, spent two years doing that, put on 15 pounds of muscle to do this record, and then promptly had shoulder surgery for unrelated reasons and lost all that muscle. I went from looking like Captain America to looking like my normal self, which was <laughs> sad. You need that much muscle to do that? Um, at the point that we had put it, um, you did. Um, because I, I had been going back and forth with Adam Winrich for a few a few years, and I wanted to just finally put it way out of reach. So I, I in in COVID... I decided, you know what? Screw it. I don't have anything else going on. I'm just going to work out as much as I can, put on as much muscle as I can, and see, you know, how high I can put this mark. I think that's the thing with like whips, though. It's one of those things where like you look at and like I could do that. It it's pro is it a lot harder than people think that it is? Um, I mean, cracking a whip in an in and of itself is not difficult. Um, the record is difficult because I was one of those guys where I looked at the record. And I'm like. I can do that. And then I tried it and I was like, oh, oh, that's a lot harder than I realized. Oh, here's knife throwing. It's not actual knife throwing. This is this I just posted this morning. Oh, uh, this okay. Is me showing off all those other tricks that I that I learned and that I don't actually do in the show anymore because no one cares about them. <laughs> is that Oh, there is magic. Look at that. There's a little bit of magic. It's not good magic. Why is plate spinning in the Renaissance fair? Is that an old timey thing? No, it's just a circus thing. Um, so my dad's show was called the Super Scientific Circus, still is called the Super Scientific Circus, where you teach science uh, through circus tricks. And so one of those was plate spinning because it teaches about centripetal and centrifugal force. And uh, I had a lot of days backstage where just just sat there spinning plates because it was the only thing to do. Oh, there you go. Indiana Jonesing with my dad. There you go. So okay. this was where... We tried all the things that Indiana Jones does in the movies <clears throat> with one of my dad's old whips made by the guy who made the whips for Indiana Jones, who's dead now. Um, and so, you know, that whip is worth more than I am. All of those whips are worth more than I am. Um, but he had these whips and, uh, and the new Indiana Jones movie was coming out this past summer, last summer. And I was like, well, let's, let's try and do some Indiana Jones tricks uh, with, with the whips. Like... Um, there's a flash that he does in the first oh, yeah, uh, Raiders that. movie. Um, that's actually harder than it, than it looks. Disarming an armed attacker. So I had him hold out a bat, pulled the bat out. It worked far better than I expected it to. <laughs> and then uh, trying to swing from a tree branch. So for this, we did not use one of those whips because I didn't want to break it. But we used an eight-foot whip, caught around it perfectly. And I don't, I don't have it here. Um, but it took me about three minutes to untie it from the tree i have it i have it in the, the bloopers reel that i think i i posted later uh because it's really hard to actually untie a whip once you've tied you know you spent so much of your life trying to not get your whips tangled or like tie them into knots because they they will do that sometimes uh and then trying to do it intentionally is is really hard that's cool so there there's Just, different ways to crack it yeah so front crack um back crack over the head crack side crack these are not the official terms and then i say we will not be demonstrating the butt crack obviously not that kind of show 
<laughs> you can see that show somewhere else, but not with me. Um, but there are all sorts of different techniques that you can use for whip cracking. I think the, the, the one that's most common, you know, that front crack is called either the circus crack or the cattleman's crack because it was how cattlemen would, would crack whips. Um, there's another one called the coachman's crack where you don't want it to crack out front because then you're going to be whipping, you know, the oxen or the horses that are pulling your carriage. Um, and so what you do is you kind of put, add this stutter into your hand so that it cracks right next to your right ear and makes you lose hearing for a few seconds. I don't like that crack. So how hard was this to do? Um, so these whips are so freaking heavy and, um, I have, I have, my shoulders are Swiss cheese, as I always like to say, they've got lots of, lots of damage with them. So I start with a five pound chain whip, um, which is heavy, but it's crackable. I can do most of what I want, but this, this other one is a 10 pound chain whip. And the whole time I'm swinging this being like, Oh God, just don't dislocate your shoulder trying to crack this thing because the, you can feel it pulling on you. The weight is there. I mean, you say, oh, it's only 10 pounds, but it's also eight feet long and just, you know, the centrifugal force. I always have to remember, is it centripetal or centrifugal? Uh, the centrifugal force is just pulling on your arm so much that I have to just like tuck everything in there to make sure nothing comes out. 